as we work to reopen more businesses, although it comes with a continued and strong message of safe social distancing, wearing masks when you leave your home or shop to protect our business owners and their employees. Colorado, we're now part of a regional partnership with California, Washington, and other western states to combat the virus and work on the economic rebound. Governor Polis announced some encouraging and aggressive news this week on testing across our state, setting goals of testing five to 8,000 people a day by the end of May, establishing test sites in all 64 counties in Colorado, and reducing the turnaround time for test results to just 24 hours. More testing is being done also in El Paso and Pueblo County, but we've still not seen the number of deaths go down, although hospitalizations continue to decline and more and more people are recovering. That's great news. We heard from local doctors and hospital leaders this week that they're beginning elective surgeries again, that hospitals are now fully capable of handling medical emergencies other than COVID-19, and there are enough ICU beds to handle a resurgence. One local health leader told us, quote, Clearly, we've done something right, but vigilance and personal responsibility still the key to preventing another spike. El Paso County received more than $125 million from the Federal CARES Act to help in our recovery. Colorado Springs alone receiving nearly $40 million of that total. The mayor and county commissioners saying they would not request of the state to expand further the current Safer at Home guidelines saying not the right thing to do right now and that our pace of recovery is good. Finally, President Trump did not extend the White House's social distancing guidelines past the expiration date on Thursday. We're not out of the woods yet, not by a long shot, but day by day we are making strides, adjusting to this new normal and accepting the challenge of changing the way we work and live for the greater good. We're going to get through this, everybody. Stay strong, Colorado. Always watching out for you. I'm Rob Quirk. Also watching out for you, I'm Elizabeth Watts, and tomorrow marks the first day non-critical offices can reopen in Colorado if they're implementing best practices and operating with half or more than half of their workers telecommuting. Also tomorrow, I'm doing a special Rebound Colorado story. It's featuring the Hatch Cover. It's a well-loved bar and restaurant in Southwest Colorado Springs. We'll show you the lesson that they learned that others can benefit from when it comes to the payroll protection program. Also, their silver lining and the one gift a customer offered that had them feeling very optimistic about times to come. Also this week, News 5's Patrick Nelson, he has a couple of rebound stories you'll want to catch as well. On Tuesday, he's going to talk with us about mental health resources that you can take advantage of from the comfort of your own home. Different ways you can connect with someone to talk with during this time of stress and anxiety. He'll also be covering the big topic of student loan debt. 44 million student loan borrowers have a total debt of one and a half trillion dollars. What he's found that's being done to help put pressure on lenders to be more lenient with borrowers, especially during these trying times, and advice for future students so they don't get tied up with loan debt. We want to thank you for relying on News 5 to get through this. We are in this together. If you have something you need help with, email rebound at koaa.com and we'll see you on News 5 throughout the next week. Have a great night.